Hi, I'm Liz with Miniature Estates. Welcome to my lighting tutorial using LED lights from Evan Designs. Here is my Duracraft Farmhouse 505 that my dad built for me almost 30 years ago. I decided I wanted to go back and add lighting, um, but I didn't want to do tape wiring and I didn't want to do round wiring. I decided to try out the LED lights made by Evan Design, and I'm a big fan. First, I want you to see the difference in the size of the plugs. For me, with round wiring, it's so difficult to hide these big plugs. You can see how much smaller the Evan Designs plug is, and also the wires themselves are, are finer and they are more rigid and easier to hide. Uh, both types of wires are paintable, but based on my experience, the Evan Designs cords are so much easier to hide. Here you can see a hole drilled for a round wire plug and an Evan Design LED plug. They sell three different sizes of LED bulbs, the Chip, the Nano, and the Pico. The Pico is the smallest um, and the, the Chip is the larger one. They actually do sell bigger sizes, but for a dollhouse, these are the best ones. Here I want you to see how bright this little light is. Um, here I'm using a 9 volt battery um, light plug. If you don't have one of these, I would absolutely recommend getting one. I use them to test all my lights. Um, the LED lights from Evan Design are very easy to use. You just plug the red in the red and the black in the black. And um, on these plugs, sometimes it's hard to tell, so I colored the top of mine red. That was just through trial and error that I figured out that that top one was red. So I want you to see here how, how bright this little bulb is. To connect the lights, you'll need one of these wired connectors from Evan Design and some heat shrink tubes. I use 1 16th of an inch and would recommend that if you buy a kit that it has that size. You can buy these at hardware stores or Evan Design sells them as well. I always like to plug in my lights before I wire them to make sure that they're going to light up. Nothing more frustrating than wiring a light that the bulb was burned out. So since this light will work, I'm going to go ahead and wire it. I take the Evan Design plug. I slide the heat shrink tube. You can trim it just with a regular pair of scissors. I take the heat shrink tube and I actually thread them onto the LED extender themselves rather than on the light. For me, that's just easier. I think it's just personal preference. You twist the, the wires together and another great thing about these LED lights is that the wire is so rigid, it is so much easier to twist together than round wire. For me, when I was adding round wire to one of my projects, I would get so frustrated with the wires coming apart before I could even put the heat shrink tubing on. Um, with these, with the rigid wire that Evan Designs uses, it forms a nice tight bond. Next, I'm giving the heat shrink tubing a shot of heat from my craft, uh, my craft heat gun. These do get very hot, so just be careful. Um, we do the heat shrink tubing to secure the bond so they, um, so you don't have any shorts and so the wires don't pull apart. And that's it. The wire or the light is ready to go. This is a regular 12 volt light, so you can actually use your existing fixtures with the Evan Design wires, which is really, really nice because they're so easy to use. I've already drilled holes where I can feed the plugs through. This one will hide behind furniture and behind a bathroom mirror. Then I'm going to feed the plug through a pre-drilled uh, hole in the floor. Now, since this is on the second floor, it won't reach towards the basement where I'm going to have all of my wires hidden. Instead, I have to add an extender. 
Evan Design sells extender pieces that are just basically an extension cord. And again, just match red to red, black to black. They have a male and a female end. Plug it in and that's it. And then I'm going to feed the wire through to the bottom of the house. This is a light fixture that I've had for years and up until this point it's just been decorative because somebody had cut the wires off of it. But because the Pico lights are so small, I was able to actually just push an LED down into the hurricane lamp and now it's a working fixture. If you just lay the wire on the opposite side from where you're looking, you can't even see it. Another cool thing about these lights is that you can make your own fixtures. I had this antler chandelier 3D printed and then I added the Pico lights to the bottom of the chandelier. I realize these wires are very visible so I'm going to go back and paint them but it's actually going to be set up in um, at a roof eave anyway so you won't really be able to see those. But what a fun thing to be able to do to make your own fixtures and they'll blend in with the rest of your house. Um, another thing is that you can add several LEDs onto one extension cord. You can add up to 50 actually, so the number of wires can decrease significantly. This is another old fixture that I had that didn't have any lights. So I just put an LED in it. I actually used the chip size in this one uh, because it only has one light and I wanted it to be brighter. So I used the chip light here and I just used a dab of their mounting wax and it'll light up perfectly. This is an old fixture I had that was no longer working. So instead of rewiring the whole thing, I actually just threaded the Pico the Pico bulbs into the tulip fixtures and then I just did a dot of hot glue on the brass and followed the brass lines around and once it's mounted you will not be able to see those wires. And now I have this beautiful working fixture that I can use. I bought these beautiful Miglo lamps at auction. I wanted to add those into the farmhouse so I just clipped the cord off and plugged them and um, did the heat shrink tubing on the, the bare wires and I can add those. Um, you know, a lot of us have these little cracks where we've made mistakes in building. Sometimes those cracks are big enough to allow these tiny little plugs to slip through, which is really nice because then you can hide your wires without having to drill extra holes. I wanted to create a fire effect in my house. I have two fireplaces, upper and lower. So Evan Design sells these flicker bulbs. I bought a red flicker bulb and a soft white flicker bulb. I twisted them together and then I wired them up to the extender. I actually put them on the same extender and then I actually just wove them into the log grate. Um, I will go back and add a little dot of their holding wax to hold the LEDs into place. Um, when, I, when I plugged them in and turned it on, um, I was a little disappointed because I felt like the flicker wasn't as dramatic as I wanted it to look. Um, I felt like the flicker looked weak um, and maybe not as realistic as I had hoped. But then I put it in the fireplace and you can see that immediately it lights up with a nice fiery glow and it looks realistic, the light that it's casting and the flicker is actually perfect, um, especially when you add a fireplace screen.
after feeding all your fixtures to the place where you're going to hide your wires, all you need to do is get one of these five-way extenders. They sell two, three, and five-way extenders. And you just plug all those plugs into these outlets. It makes it really nice. Again, just match up red and red and black and black. If you need more places to plug in, you can add another five-way extender to all the plugs. I have a total of four five-way extenders in my house. Unfortunately, as with round wiring, you do end up with kind of a mess of wires, but when you see the difference in the size of the wires, you'll recognize that it's easier to hide these. One wire comes out and connects to the transformer, and then everything turns on with a simple switch. Here you can see my lights lit up. Here's my old fixture that I just added the LED light to. This is a normal 12 volt fixture. I've used a combination of 12 volt and LEDs. You can use all 12 volt lights, you can use all LED lights, or you can use a combination of both. Here's the house all lit up. I'm thrilled with the results. I won't ever use another type of wiring system again. I will link all of the products that I used in the comment section of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. You'll be able to see the house decorated in upcoming videos. Thank you.